Uh, but right now, again, our focus is to solidify and maintain this, the uh, solid uh, allied coalition that has existed since the beginning of the full-scale invasion. And you see in the wake of Russia's really horrific and devastating decision to pull out of the Black Sea Grain Initiative, uh, real revulsion uh, in a lot of developing countries. And the PRC is very mindful of what public opinion in developing countries indicates. Indeed, the PRC is one of the major recipients of wheat that had been coming from Ukraine from mm. the Black Sea. So we're hopeful that in the dialogue that exists in North Korea and every place else, uh, that Beijing is raising its voice and its concern over what Putin is doing. I would note also yes. that when Putin struck uh, Odessa, in the wake of, of my visit there, it was actually the Chinese consulate uh, that shook and, and right. itself was, was damaged in those strikes. So there's a lot to talk about. Right, and certainly that was very notable. Actually, that was something that uh, Michael Pacerku, a resident of the port city of Odessa, frequent guest on the show, wrote about when he was writing about the strikes that he is living through uh, day after day in Odessa right now. Um, you know, you point out that regarding this grain deal, Ukraine is crucial. And it is, right? I mean, it's one of the world's largest suppliers of grain, corn, wheat, everything, right? It was known as the breadbasket of the former USSR for a reason. The World Food Program gets 80% of its grain from Ukraine. And Michael Pacerku, who I just mentioned, also wrote, uh, Administrator, quote, as much as words of condemnation from austere bodies, such as UNESCO, have become a customary response to Russian aggression, Words don't repel missiles the way the Patriots do. Do you support more Patriot missiles now as a way to provide security to Odessa, to provide security for this food that the world so desperately needs? Well, I met with President Zelensky um, the day after, actually, <clears throat> the most severe strikes on Odessa, and again, just the day after I had been in Odessa myself, and we discussed a variety of ways of defending a city that had actually been relative to other Ukrainian cities, relatively immune to the kind of bombardment and missile strikes, in part because of this UN broker deal. It offered a kind of collateral protection, it seems. Um, and you saw the, earlier this week, the United States announce a new drawdown, a new security assistance package. I've just been up on Capitol Hill all day today, engaging senators about our next uh, uh, request for, you know, additional uh, resources on the civilian side, which, of course, will be coupled with security assistance. So the last thing I'm going to do on behalf of President Biden is preview where that assistance will go. But it's very mm. clear that now that Odessa is a target, that thinking collectively uh, among allies and partners to Ukraine about what the next step is, is very important. And I would say that out of the Vilnius summit, the uh, Ukraine-NATO Council was created and actually had an emergency meeting this week in light of Russia's decision to pull out of the, the Black Sea Grain Initiative to discuss what additional defenses are needed. And, Administrator, because of your specific view on this right now and your role, how worried you, are you about a full-scale global food crisis if Russia continues these attacks, enforces the blockade, and stops that grain? I'm really worried. Um, you know, wheat prices are up as of midday today. They were up by 10 percent since Russia pulled out. But I'm not only worried. We're working with the Ukrainians to look to diversify their export routes. And indeed, you've probably heard about, you know, working by rail, river, road, the Danube River ports. Uh, have increased from 3 million metric tons a year to a, just shy of 3 million metric tons a month actually leaving Ukraine. So we're not going to sit idle and wait for Putin to change his mind. I do think this Africa Leaders Summit that he's convening, I'm hopeful, will be an occasion where African leaders will try to press him uh, to go back to the deal, given the stakes uh, among the poorest of the poor communities in the world. But we are going to have to compensate in some fashion as more hungry people are created by Putin's decision to weaponize food and to try to destroy the Ukrainian economy. Administrator Power, thank you very much. I appreciate your time tonight.